now what I'm doing is covering the wing and what you can see is I've pegged the back side it's a lightweight glass cloth pegged the back side of the wing and holding the cloth in place I've gone down the middle of the wing and worked my way to the leading edge this leaves everything in place secure and bubble free at the front half as you can see now this is the bottom of the wing so I'll work my way around as the wings got narrow here I have now gone across the whole of the wing and it's not been held down I can still lay it out okay there's a little bit at the tip here with a few pegs on so I've got that little bit at the end to do and might work the way to the trailing edge with the policy I'll do two coats of policy sand it back and then do a final thin layer of epoxy over it which I'll show on another video okay thanks You'll see for the servo hatch I'm actually um, going to veneer the or put the glass cloth over the actual veneer the servo hole um, I've now lifted the screws which you will see just a couple of mil I'll let that set overnight and then I'll use a Dremel just to go around and open the edge up once it's set um, I prefer to do it this way because now I know that the everywhere is covered by the time I've gone round with the Dremel it's a, a nice finish uh, use a fine blade for cutting on the uh, you know the servo plate out so that it is a, leaves a small gap but uh, I prefer to do it this way and get the perfect finish which hopefully we'll be able to show you later I'll just uh, brush out some of the poly C now but as you can see at this end I already have and it's looking very nice and uh, bubble free two hours and I'll be able to come back and put another coat on I like to do it like this at this during let's say with the I've got LED lights in my shed workshop and I like to do it at this time because uh, I find that you can see that the uh, policy's definitely gone into the cloth okay 15 minutes has passed now and as you uh, hopefully can see from the video the uh, policy's soaking through the cloth and into the wood lovely I don't fill the wood before because I feel this helps to draw the policy through the cloth and it always seems to stick then to the wood so uh, perhaps I should do with sanding sealant I don't know but I prefer to do this way so it's base wood and then just do my uh, allow it to draw through the cloth I know it's all the way through the cloth and I know it's gone into the wood and uh, it'll leave a lovely finish
Okay, this is now my uh, Genesis wing, the right wing. It's a four meter glider. I am doing a video on the build as well, but this is just to show how the wings finish with the. So I did one with glass clothing while I was uh, actually doing this. Um, I'm just going to put the final coat of uh, UV protection on it, but very pleased with the finish. A little bit of bleeding on the tape, but uh, overall very happy. Uh, once the UV protection's on, that's this wing finished. 